Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, personal word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, personal word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, personal word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is uh, <clears throat> in the news on the, uh, August the 2nd, 2022, at uh, 1.37 p.m. Central Standard Time on this Tuesday afternoon. And um, this is a news article that I'm about to bring out because of uh, the Wall Street Journal. And it's regarding the uh, stocks exchange on Wall Street. And this is last day, uh, last updated on August the second, twenty twenty-two, at two thirty p.m. And it's uh, the highlight of this news article. It reads from WallStreetJournal.com. It says today's stock market news stock mix as U.S.-China tension stir. Uh, the Wall Street Journal full market coverage. Uh, the latest developments. The U.S. stocks were mixed Tuesday afternoon with the Dow Jones Industrial in, in the red area as House Nancy Speaker visits Taiwan amending heightened tensions between Beijing and Washington. The S&P 500 and the Dow Industrial swung between small gains and losses on Monday, closing lower to start August after a major index finished the best month since 2020. Mr. and Mrs. Pelosi uh, visit to Taiwan was the first by a House speaker since 1997. Beijing, which claims Taiwan as part of its territory, threatening to unspecify military countermeasures should the visit proceeds which it did already she already touched down in uh, Taiwan already so yeah I was just looking at the uh, market uh, about a minute ago I was looking through the, on the computer and the uh, Dow Jones industrial was a uh, negative 214 as of right now, as I see. So, you know, sometimes the Wall Street have mixed reactions of what's going around, you know, what's going around the world as well, too. If it's from an economic standpoint or if it's from a global war type perspective or it'd be like uh, from oil productions, financial situations or from the Federal Reserve's or what their type of announcement is going to be made or if they uh, raise interest rates for what's going on with the economy or you know with the stocks and bonds and stuff like that so I believe like at the end of July uh, the Dow Jones and S&P 500 I believe they had their best year since 2020 as I was reading on down through the article but you know you're gonna have those continued mixed reactions. You know, have the stocks, stocks and change and bonds. You know, especially you know the fact that what you're gonna see for these next couple of months, as as we close sooner entering fall and all that in a different quarter, you're gonna uh, continue to see the reports of the unemployment rate, uh, the job laborers, the uh, job addings and the economy and the GDP and then potential if they're going to find ways to like uh, maneuver to slow down to ease uh, the inflation so with all that being said and done as I list all those things you know sometimes uh, you know the Dow Jones it goes through mixed reactions it goes to it reacts to certain things that's being said or certain things that might happen globally or financially in uh, many other categories as well too.
but as you know what the current tensions between China and the uh, United States as you see the stock exchange is uh, falling from the uh, S&P 500 to the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones as well too so I expect to see up and down like a balance scale but it's like swivering up and down markets because you gotta uh, understand sometimes you know these companies and these industrial businesses they fund money into the economy trying to find ways to um, fix the economy because the economy definitely been slipping the housing market definitely been slipping and then you got this uh, report from Joe Biden with the student student loans if that's going to be paused you know then you got these other businesses and these companies you know like big tech companies you know and, and big other companies as well too you know so that, that goes into the mark stocks and changes and stuff like that but you know, probably most likely expect to see especially throughout the whole month of august coming up which is right which you know which we are in the month of august of 2022 so expect to see you know the dow jones might have certain gains in the green areas and then it's going to have slipping of a uh, uh, in the red red radar area of uh, the stocks falling as well too so it's going to be like an up and down slope of uh, how to it all depends on how the uh, stocks just change uh definitely be what's what's going on globally around the world especially with the oil productions with the inflations and with the housing market and the job labors and anything that's going on globally with the nations clashing with each other if it's from a warlike perspective or financial perspective and then you know the nasdaq on wall street you know it has like uh, uh, you know mixed reactions so it's gonna have like a balance scale so it's gonna be up and down up and down a swivel swivering up and down up and down type market you know because you got to keep in mind once again like I mentioned before you know the money money being pitched in for the, with the economy as well too in the uh, Dow Jones uh, Wall Street industrial in the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ as well too so you know it runs through the economy as well too so definitely gotta keep an eye on that because we've been seeing continuous signs of the economy keep on slipping with the housing market slipping with everything constantly consistently going up with the gas prices even though gas price productions have dropped down for a whole month now but expect to see it rise again and with the hyperinflation, it might not ease soon. That's why the Federal Reserves keep on uh, heightening the interest rate of it. But you, but most likely you might see it, you know, continue to uh, continue to rise. And then you got this uh, demic with the uh, M O N K E Y P O X, and that's starting to be a demic. Because I believe New York had made that statement. It was in a state of emergency. I believe there was two cities uh, that had made the uh, M-O-N-K-E-Y-P-O-X as a state of emergency. First started in New York. And I believe it's in California or Washington, I believe. And then it's in another different type of pestilence increasing in other countries as well, too. So with the re uh, you know uh with the reaction of that that might affect the market as well too so sometimes the market goes through reactions of what's going on around the world especially number one on top of that list is economically and other categories that i just named as well too you know so even though I'm not going to run a scripture out on this, but it's just expect to see more uh, up and down slope, especially in the whole month of August with the uh, NASDAQ 
industrial and the S&P 500, you know, you're going to have continue of mixed reactions. Some going to be positive and some going to be negative because sometimes, it, you know, the Wall Street goes through stocks and bonds, the uh, businesses, business owners that put their stocks and bonds and these money and what the economy, the job laborers, the job markets, you know, these industries, these big tech companies and stuff like that. So it goes by through reaction of what's happening. If it's between the nations clashing with each other on a global economic stage or oil production and many others as well too, you know. So hey, it's gonna continue uh, now more than ever. Expect to see the uh, Dow Jones and the Wall Street continue to have mixed and balanced reactions and we'll see how it plays out. But at the moment, definitely the economy been definitely is shrinking now more than ever. The housing market shrinking, everything constantly consistently going up. Sales taxes throughout the roof increasing. As the Fed, Federal Reserve, Wall Street still trying to find ways to maneuver to ease the hyperinflations. As a couple of months ago, like I mentioned, you know, it went up from 8.2% to 9.1% through the month of June and July. Now we're already into August and we'll see what's during the next couple of months. See if the hyperinflation is going to increase and the economy continue to go down and we'll see if the gas price is going to continue to go up. But it still shows more signs of modern day Babylon is falling more and more now more than ever with these mixed reactions on the balance scale up and down so it's not at a steady scrape pace because it's keep on continuing going up and down you know and that's how the economy is is going up and down now it's shrinking down and it's continuing to go be like that you know so with that i hope this uh lesson was edifying for in the news on august the 2nd 2022 through the spirit power grace and mercy of the hawaii outside and first and foremost i'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to the hava bashem the hava shah baha shem rakakadash double honors to the elders apostles of great millstone preach the word truth and sincerely and shout out to the akim scattered through the four points of the globe uh, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely and shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird uh, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely and until next time I will say shout out and a ball ball